Joseph de Turi is a retired U.S. naval officer who spent a hundred days in a port submerged in the Atlantic Ocean. After he emerged, his medical exams found he had gotten healthier and his telomeres that typically shorten with age had gotten 20% longer. Based on that knowledge, he was 10 years younger. His stem cell count had also increased, which is another hallmark of aging. That's quite an interesting outcome. Is living underwater really the key to reversing aging and living longer? In this video, I'm going to look at Joseph's experiment and talk about his results. Joseph Turi has been breaking the world records for the longest time being spent underwater several times over the last few years. In 2023, he spent 100 days underwater in Florida. His pod was 22 feet or about 6.7 meters underwater. Joseph, also known as Dr. Deep Sea, has a PhD in biomedical engineering from the University of South Florida and he's a president of the Undersea Oxygen Clinic. While he was underwater, he held online courses to over 5,000 students worldwide. His main goal is to research how humans are able to adapt and survive in extreme conditions, such as being underwater. But he also researches age-related diseases and how to make humans live longer. His hypothesis is that by being underwater and being exposed to this increased pressure, you're able to slow down and prevent some of the age-related diseases and extend human lifespan. After he resurfaced from his 100-day experiment underwater in 2023, they found that Joseph had shrinked by half an inch, which is about 1.27 centimeters. However, he apparently grew back to his previous 6 foot 1 after 9 months of being on land. His cholesterol inflammation and sleep quality improved as well. His cholesterol went from 272 to below 200. His inflammatory markers decreased by about 50%. And he did 19 psychological tests while being underwater and they all improved. My first reaction was that his cholesterol went down, his inflammation went down because he probably lost weight. However, Joseph is a scientist and he did say that he didn't change his diet during the experiment, which is interesting. So he was eating the same foods, but I think that he still probably ate a little bit less. And based on the reports, he did lose a little bit of weight, which is impossible without being in a calorie deficit. Calorie restriction and weight loss are going to improve all your biomarkers, even if you're not changing your diet and even if you're eating a processed food diet. Joseph was also exercising in the port for an hour or five days a week with resistance bands, which he might have not been doing before. Let's talk about the telomeres and stem cells. Telomere shortening and stem cell exhaustion are one of the main hallmarks of aging. Telomeres are these protective caps on top of chromosomes that protect DNA. With age, you're telomeres shorten, which is a sign of aging. The total length of telomeres hasn't been found to be as relevant to aging and longevity as the speed of the telomere shortening and telomere dysfunction. Accelerated telomere shortening is associated with many chronic diseases like cancer, neurodegeneration, and heart disease. But having super long telomeres itself doesn't appear to be that important. The unhealthy lifestyle like obesity, smoking, and chronic stress shorten telomeres. Telomeres can be lengthened via the activity of an enzyme called telomerase. However, telomerase has also been seen to extend the lifespan of cancer cells. Cancer cells are characterized by telomerase activity. So it appears that it's more important to prevent telomere shortening because of unhealthy lifestyle instead of trying to extend them. Stem cells are another hallmark of aging and they become diminished with age. Stem cells are the earliest type of cell in a cell lineage and they can become any other cell in the body. That makes stem cells very important for healing and repair. There's no evidence that injecting stem cells or boosting stem cells is going to make you live longer. However, there are some studies showing potential for various diseases. Right now, the only FDA-approved stem cell therapy is hematopoietic or blood stem cell transplantation. It's used to treat patients with cancers and disorders that affect the blood and immune system. What Joseph is really researching is the benefits of hyperbaric oxygen therapy or HBOT. His hypothesis is that this increased pressure environment of being underwater has health benefits, and by using hyperbaric oxygen therapy, you can mimic those effects. HBOT is a medical treatment where you're breathing pure oxygen in a high-pressure chamber. The medical Conditions that are approved to be treated with HBOT include carbon monoxide poisoning, central retinal artery occlusion, decompression sickness, skin grafts, thermal burns, and others. There's no evidence that HBOT is going to cure cancer, autism, Alzheimer's, heart disease, stroke, or other chronic diseases. A 2020 study did find that hyperbaric oxygen therapy for 60 daily exposures among 35 healthy 64 and older adults increased telomere length and various immune cells like natural killer cells by over 20%. Another 2022 review also showed that HBOT can stimulate stem cell proliferation, angiogenesis, which is the growth of new blood vessels, suppresses cell senescence, and lowers inflammation. However, there are no clinical trials looking at the effects of HBOT on any of the age-related diseases or longevity. So it's very early to say if HBOT will have any of those effects. 
There are plausible mechanisms, though. There are interesting things that happen when you're doing HBOT, but we will still need some actual clinical trials to look at those effects. Mechanistic reasons can only take you so far. What matters more are the actual human outcomes. Joseph has a vision that people will be able to take two-week vacations in underwater hotels, where they're exposed to the increased pressure and their health will improve. Well, let's see. It's of course an interesting idea and I think a lot of people will, you know, do it. But to answer the question that I asked in the beginning of the video, does spending 100 days underwater make you 10 years younger? Well, Joseph's health markers apparently did improve, but that could be because of just eating less and losing weight. You would need to do this experiment together with a controlled feeding trial, where all the calories are equated before and after the submersion. The same applies to the telomeres and stem cells. Losing weight can improve those markers as well. So to sum it up, it's obviously a very interesting experiment experiment, I personally probably wouldn't do it <laughs> with the evidence we have right now, but it's certainly something worth researching more. Maybe you can mimic those effects with regular hyperbaric oxygen therapy, but at the moment I wouldn't book a holiday in an underwater hotel. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. My name is Seem, stay optimized, stay empowered.